Southern Arizona Regional Science and Engineering Fair, SARSA for short, really, and it's the 57th annual here in Southern Arizona. We have so many projects here, it would take days to show them all to you, but fortunately for me and for you, we do have a couple of students here that are going to tell us a little bit about their projects. One with me right now, Walker. Uh, tell me a little bit about your project and tell me what grade you're in. Well, my project is Hyperdice and I'm a fifth grader at Sonoran Science Academy Broadway. In my project, I was challenging the paradox of randomness and deterministic systems. Now, the reason why I chose to do this project is because I noticed this shuffle feature on iTunes that randomly picks a song to play. Now, it was my understanding that randomness can't be in software. A software is written on a computer, and a computer is a deterministic system. Now, a deterministic system is a system that does exactly what you tell it to do, no more and no less, and there's no randomness on a deterministic system. So, it must be a paradox that, there, that it's random. So I decided to test it, and that was the origin of CyberDice. So I wrote this program, and I got all of this, all of these outputs. All of the, the data and everything that explains it? Yeah, and I applied the die-hard test to the outputs, and I was able to find that artificial randomness is truly random. So that shuffle on the, on the iTunes is actually random as, as you test it? Yes. Awesome. That's really good to know, and there's so much more of this project to be explained, and so if you want to get out here and check it out for yourself, we're going to be here uh, all morning, and we'll talk more about the projects as well, but then it's going to be open to the public Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Obviously, there's a lot more explaining this project as well as others, and you can get out here and see it for yourself. Again, open to the public starting at uh, 9 o'clock in the morning and lasting till 8 p.m. each and every day. And real quick, we want to get to a little bit of weather for you this morning. I can tell you that it's a little bit chilly. We've got 40s right now, but it is going to warm up quickly today. We're going to see those 80s by this afternoon, 82 for the high, sunny skies, and uh, mild winds for the most part. 56 up on Mount Lemon. Then tonight we'll dip down to about 47 for the overnight low in Tucson, so it will be pretty mild. And again, winds will stay mild, maybe up to 15 miles per hour at times. And then for the next seven days, you're going to see those 80s sticking around for at least four more days. Enjoy the outdoor weather. By the weekend, that's going to be changing in the way of wind, cooler temps, and certainly a chance for rain by Sunday and Monday. We'll have much more on the fair here and uh, talking with more students throughout the morning, so stay with us. But for now, let's head over to Big Al. Good job. Thank you so much. You did well doing that quickly. We all learned something right yes. there.